Not now. Not until you listen to what I have to say. You think kidnapping me from my bridal shower is saving me? You're not ready for this marriage. You're hiding from something, and I want to know what it is. Nothing. You want this wedding, Angel? Don't call me that. Okay, I'm not an angel. I've done horrible things, and I've made so many no, mistakes. No, that you makes any know? difference to me. But it does to me. Okay, I was finally sure of something in my life. I was marrying Casey, and, and I was going to be his wife and love him forever, and... And you... You confuse me, and I don't want to be confused. I just want you to leave me alone. And you think marriage and matching monogram towels is going to turn you into the good girl that you think you're supposed to be. And what can you do for me? I can let you be yourself. This marriage is a trap, Allison. I can save you from it. It's what I want. Hope to God it's what you want. Please, I just want to go back down. You were in the church at the bell tower today, weren't you? My scarf. You must have held it. I smelled your hair. Stop, your skin. Stop it. Stop. You are as drawn to me as I am to you. I knew it the first time I saw you. I knew you. You're crazy. I, I'm, I'm marrying Casey and I, I love Casey. But I'm the one in your dreams. No. Yeah, yeah. You told me that yourself, so you can't take it back now. It's okay, though. You're in my head, too. None of that matters. I'm marrying Casey, and I'm not alone. Just give me one night before you sign your life away. One night. What are you doing in there with Mick? It's almost romantic. What are you doing here, Barbara? I never invited you here. Oh, so this is off limits to me? Me, your eternal love? And yet you're lighting candles? Preparing for what? The candlelight is restful. And I come here to meditate. Don't insult me. You're expecting little Miss Allison Stewart. Barbara, I... Did you plan her your little rendezvous when you met ever so conveniently in the Lakeview elevator? Get out! Get out! I am sick of you and your vanity. I beg your pardon? You're sick of me? Well, I can fix things for you, James. A lot of things. I'm sorry. Just give me alone time, okay? This has been a very difficult day. For me, too. I've been pleading your case with our son. But what happened with Paul? Oh, he's on to you. He knows who I am? Not quite. It's just a matter of time. Well, we can't let that happen. We? As in 
the way that had all the plans? Where you inject me with your formula and turn me into the younger version of myself so we can start our life all over together? Nothing has changed, Barbara. That is not so, James. Because I'm through running interference with you. You're on your own. Just say it. 